What's cracking, everybody? So, gonna do another video this evening. Something that's um, a little, a little near and dear uh, to my heart. I was uh, shopping, um, get, picking up a few things the other day. I've got this great uh, natural market, a co-op, as a matter of fact, uh, called the Merck, and um, I used to do all my shopping there. Um, you know, things have changed for me, so I don't shop there as much, but I still like to go there and pick some things up, get some, you know, uh, get some, uh, most of my produce from there, and some other things. And uh, I love this magazine. Um, you know, I'm one of those guys. Uh, at one point, for those of you that don't know me, at one point, um, I, uh, about 85 to 90% of the food that was in my home was organic um, or all natural. And by all natural, look, the term all natural doesn't mean shit. If you get a bag of Lay's and it says all natural potatoes, that means nothing. Okay? So understand that when it says all natural, it really could mean a whole number of things. Um, the biggest thing you want to look for is grown without uh, growth hormones when it comes to meats and things of that nature. No nitrates, no nitrites, um, no pesticides, no chemicals, um, grown in a sustainable manner, um, things of that nature. And anything that's, that's uh, certified organic, um, there's numerous organizations out there. It's not just the US, uh, USDA. Um, it can be uh, certified organic from other organizations. Oregon Tilth, I think, is one of them. Um, there's quite a few. So, I, uh, I picked up a, a, a copy of Mother Earth News. Ha 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 ha! Because they always got the coolest shit in here. Um, you know, this one ha actually has 75 safe and effective herbal remedies. Now listen, you know... Some of you, many of you that know me, you know, I'm I'm a uh, I'm a realist. I'm a, I'm a skeptic. Um, I'm an atheist. I believe in science. All of these things. Um, so I don't even I don't need anybody busting my balls. I uh, I believe in uh, a number of different things. I believe there are um, homeopathic um, things that that can make you feel better. That can that can heal certain things, that can correct certain uh, ailments. And, and that's just reality. I mean, they were used thousands of years ago. Um, it's just the way it is. So, 75 safe and effective herbal remedies. Um, that's not what made me buy the magazine, I'll tell you what. Uh, build fertile soil with free wood mulch. Save energy money, seal up your leaky house. Um, create a spectacular food garden, which is you know a passion, a passion that I want to get into. And, um, which is, you know, my situation changing. I haven't, uh, I had to abandon that. But right at the bottom here, now they're putting pesticides inside our food, page 16. So, you know, I saw that and I had to look at, I had to check it out. Um, now, this is probably something that may not be new to some of you. Um, systematic pesticides. Chemicals you cannot wash off. True or false, in conventional food production systems, all pesticides are applied to a plant's exterior. Therefore, washing fruits and vegetables before you eat them is sure to reduce your exposure. The answer is false. Systematic uh, chemicals or pesticides are chemicals that are absorbed um, by the plant when applied to the seeds um, or the leaves or the soil. It is absorbed into the tissue of the actual vegetable or fruit, um, the food, and it circulates throughout the tissue to kill whatever little bugs and pesties uh, want to eat it. The use of these pesticides on food crops began in 1988, 1998, I'm sorry, 1998. Um, and has steadily increased during the past 10 years. Unlike traditional insecticides, you can't wash 
or peel off systematic pesticide residues because they're in the plant's tissues, not on their exteriors. Um, the four main systematics used on food crops listed below are members of the uh, nitro guanidine or neonicotinoid, forgive me for mispronouncing these, group of chemicals which has been a uh, implicated in the mysterious colony collapse disorder that has killed millions of bees. Remember folks, when the bees die out, we die out. No cross-pollination. None of that good stuff. So, it's been implicated, okay? Um, so there's a whole series of, of other pesticides, insecticides that fall under this. Um, one of them called thiametho thiamethoxum. Thiamethoxum something like that. First approved as a seed treatment for corn in 2002, um, products that are applied to the soil have since been approved for use on most vegetable and fruit, co fruit crops. Um, there's a picture here. A garden seed company recently sent us these seeds for a new sweet corn. The seeds were treated with Cruiser, which is a, uh, which is a thiomethoxum. A systematic uh, neonicotinoid insecticide. They were also treated with four fungicides: uh, azoxystrobin, carboxin, uh, fluti flutioxinol, and mefenoxum. If I mispronounce those, hey, too bad. But this is the picture. These are the. This is the sweet corn seeds. I. I, I don't think they're supposed to look like that, are they? <laughs> um, equally disturbing, it appears that uh, nit nitroguanidine pesticides can persist in soil for 500 days or more, which creates a high-risk scenario. After one or two applications, plants grown in treated soil may produce toxic pollen, nectar, and gutation droplets for more than two seasons. All the while, the entire treated area will be moderately toxic to beneficial earthworms, carabid beetles, lady beetles, predatory pirate bugs, and more. Now, of course, there's no scientific evidence, um, yet that says the food laced with uh, the neonicotinoids will harm humans. humans. But why is the EPA allowing systematic pesticides on food plants in the first place? Um, you know, do we really need to be killing every single tiny little bug? I mean, do we need to have these perfect, modified, swelled, gigantic, accelerated foods for consumption? Well, we do, because industrial agriculture and industrial farming have cause the need for it. Accelerating uh, seasons and growth periods to produce more crop, to feed more people. We all know one of the, one of the biggest perpetrators, one of the biggest fucking criminal organizations on the planet when it comes to this, Monsanto. Say what you want. Say what you want. Respond how you like. Fuck Monsanto. And their genetically modified garbage. They're poison. The reality is, <laughs> you know, everybody thought, hey, wash your vegetables in water and you wash it off. Not anymore. Hell, not for a long time. We have pesticides and insecticides that are being systematically pumped into and circulating through the tissue of our fruits and vegetables kill every major little tiny bug. The fuck is wrong with you people? Y'all need a perfect fruit, perfect vegetable? It's got a little bad spot. Pluck it out. This is one of the, one of the, my point to all of this is basically this is just another reason that um, I prefer 
to buy and eat or produce on my own if I can, which I haven't been able to, um, organic foods or natural vegetables that I know what's going into the growing process. Um, the beautiful thing about this uh, this local market, this Merck that's here um, in my town, is um, that it has local uh, local farmers. It's all local farmers. Um, many of the meats and vegetables come from local farmers. There's plenty of organic stuff that gets um, imported from other states. I'd say import is still domestic. But they come from other states. Some stuff comes from other countries. Um, but there's a lot of good local produce, a lot of good local meats out there. If you have anything in your area, um, a local co-op or uh, a natural food store, some sort of co-op that's part of a larger organization, um, frequent them. You know, um, give them your money. You know, think global, but you got to start local. Um, if we had local farmers in territories all over the United States, um, we wouldn't have the monstrosity that this in, that industrial agriculture has caused. Um, with uh, the production of, of beef and, and chicken and pork and, and all of these other things that uh, these animals are um, fed the worst kind of garbage and um, accelerated growth through hormones and and uh, steroids and shit that gets in our meat, shit that goes in our body, folks. This stuff transfers to our body. Um, I can ar I'll, I can argue all day with somebody that talks about the um, the parts per million and whatever else uh, that goes in. You know, this so much doesn't hurt, and this little bit doesn't hurt, and that little bit doesn't hurt. But when you get all these little bits, it adds up to quite a bit. So our foods are becoming are no longer becoming you know edible palatable they're being produced um and it all boils down to in many cases sure they got to feed people but somebody's got to make money feeding people and that's a big part of it don't fucking fool yourself Money makes a lot of things in this world go round. And people do not have other people's best interest at heart a lot of times when it comes to these kinds of things. This is big business. Big business. FDA, all tied into it. Certain organizations that are all in bed together. Monsanto. There's, there's many others. Um, to ship the food to you as fast as um, as possible, sometimes filled with as many fucking chemicals as they can get away with. So, take that for what it's worth. Um, I thought it was an interesting article. Um, buy organic if you can, when you can. If not, grow your own. Grow your own. That's what I like to say. Um, but I'm, I'm very big on that. Uh, and I still have quite a bit of stuff um, in my home now that's um, organic or from uh, my local, uh, some local farms in the area um, that I know the growing practices. Make sure you find out what the growing practices are. Some of the farms will list them on little tags and things. They'll tell you about themselves. But if you don't know, find out. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, that's it, folks. That's it for me and this edition of Mother Earth News. Till the next time. Peace.